hi people hi everyone welcome back to my channel and i'm glad to have you guys back here again so guys in today's video without wasting much of your time let us dive in immediately so welcome back guys so please if you're new to my channel please go ahead and subscribe turn on the bell so that each time i upload a new video you will be notified that i have done that so please guys go ahead and do all the necessary things to be done okay and i promise you you will never be disappointed that you did all right so guys i want to just um grave your indulgence okay please and please and please Anything you see me putting out in this channel, okay, it is not to condemn anybody, it is not to um, speak evil of any place or speak evil of anything at all because everything that God created is, they are all beautiful, they are all perfect, okay, so I am just sharing my experience of life when I was in Africa and life in Europe here. In the particular country where I live, like I always say in my videos, like we have different opinions, we have different ways we see things, we have different ways we reason things, okay? The way you reason your own ways, it's not the way I will reason, okay? So sometimes you might reason um, far from my own reasoning, the same thing goes to me, I might reason far from your own ways, alright? So I am not here to be judgmental, alright? This is on a normal plain ground on what you should know. Like sometimes we paint black to be white and we paint white to be black we don't like saying things the way they are and in the truth that is where we live long in the truth that is where we we focus okay when you live in the lie hmm, it's so terrible to live in the lie so please take it as one of those things okay I am not here to determine where it's perfect and where it's not perfect knowing fully well that <laughs> that thing that's sweet mm, it, it can also kill and that must mean it can be animal's poison that is how life is life you know to this threat all right so please chill 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 all right and this is what content is all about you sit you think you create that is what we call it content creators all right so in today's video i want to just go ahead and share with us people all over this planet okay some of the things that i personally that i missed about my hometown which is called nigeria that is located in africa wherever you are if you have left your country anywhere you come from africa asia australia america europe anywhere you come from and you left your country and relocated to another place what is that thing that you missed but i know because i know very well that there there must be something at least one thing that you miss about your hometown so i am here to share with us okay what i miss some of the things that i miss in my hometown as a nigerian woman living in europe so so please i want you to also go ahead highlight some of those things that you miss from your country wherever you are coming from and i hope you find this interesting and if you did after watching please go ahead share to your communities share to anywhere shareable help me to promote my channel help me to grow okay and as you do so please god is one of the things that i miss i have about six different things if i'm not mistaken that i listed out that i'll be sharing here and one of them is that i mix i miss like going to church activities don't get me wrong i don't say i am not doing it here but what i mean is that you are always free to go to church activities at any time, at any point in your life or in a day. Like for instance, if you want to go to church to go and pray. I remember those days when I was in Nigeria, I usually go to church by myself, okay, and go there, spend some time praying and you know, after which I go back to my house. There is no limitation to going to church going to church activities or going to church whenever you feel like going to go and pray or go and spend time to you know to stay away from the noise of the world and you go to inside the church to pray so and nothing limits you nothing stops you like here we have limitations like transportation like if you want to go to church now 
to go and stay there and pray outside of your house, you know, or do something, or even a church program, or anything at all in the church. Transportation is always a problem, has always been a problem. The means of transportation has always been a problem. So I miss that particular part, okay? There was a day, a day I drove past my church and I branched, I branched, like I was able to drive all the other way, so I had to branch. I said, I cannot come to this city without branching to my church. So I branched there and I enjoy spending a little time there as well. So it is not what we do every time. So I miss it a lot. I miss, okay, um, going to church anytime I want to go without having to get limitations or anything. Then the next one is dressing. Oh my god, oh my god, like. I'm wearing this thing I'm wearing now. You see, the hand is cut, but I'm feeling cold. Like, it's cold, it's cold, but not really cold because when it is very, very cold, I can't wear this thing. Mm? I can't wear this even inside the house because um, the cold is too much. So, I miss the patterns of dressing that we do dress in Africa, considering the weather, because here in Europe, during winter time, it's always. <sighs> <laughs> you go to, you go outside even when you are putting on jacket jacket wearing a manner of clothes inside you still feel this cold so it, 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 the, the weather limits us from wearing sometimes you want to dress traditionally you know it is only summer time that you can dress traditionally here it is only summer time you can wear shorts and hands but in Nigeria nothing like that nothing like that you wear anything you want to wear at any time without any problem so i miss those things like there are some dress i stopped wearing when i was in nigeria but when i came here oh my god the cold i couldn't contain it how to you know start wearing those things again and what can i do so that is the number two thing that i miss about my home okay my country so the third point i have here again is that i miss christmas in nigeria oh my word i miss christmas a lot like christmas year in italy just like <laughs> i don't want to use this word that is in my mind because so that you not get me wrong okay but it is so so quiet so so calm nothing moves everybody in the house it's just like a normal day, just like an ordinary day. But in, in Africa, in Nigeria, where I come from, it is so lively. Christmas seasons are always lively. In fact, that is when you know that Christmas has a smell. Christmas smells. But here, <laughs> you know, in Nigeria, you have there this tree, this tree that we used to call rice and stew. It has a white color and a top of it, it has it, there's also a red color. So we call it rice and stew. Once you see that. Uh, uh, flower, you know that Christmas has is around the corner, but nothing shows the sign apart from the normal Christmas decoration, the street light that we see. That we just see that, and the snow. Even most of the times, you won't even see snow, so I can go out there to snap picture with snow, and that is just it. But in Nigeria, Christmas is always bubbling. Okay, it bubbles. It smells Christmas, but life here yeah, you have places to go, parks to go, you know, things to visit. But here yeah, it's not like that. Even if you want to go to a park, coal will chop you wrong, coal will eat you up, okay? So it is not really, really what I said I am not missing. I miss it a lot. I miss Christmas a lot. And that is why most people, they travel uh, to Africa during uh, Christmas season. You know, to go and have fun in Nigeria, all right? And the fourth thing that I have to say here today is that I miss it. This one should have been the number one, but <laughs> I don't want to rush into it so I will not exaggerate too much. So I miss our food. Hey, Chineke, Mere, Mere, God help me. I miss Nigeria food. I miss my own food. Do you know what I like most? When I was in Port Harcourt, I learned a very bad character. And what is that character? I don't stay in a week without eating bole. You know those streets, Port Harcourt, hot, your malicious. Um, bole, yam, and the fish roasted by the roasted. Oh my god, one of my friends, Pepe in Nigeria. If you're watching, I have two Pepe's, okay? I have four in Nigeria and I have one here. Yeah. Pepe Tua, if you're watching this video, you know now, you remember those days. <laughs> I cannot stay without eating that. Yeah. In fact, when I was pregnant with my first child, my son, I ate it like no man business. 
I lived in Lagos before I came here and Lagos, I, I, I don't get to see this thing. So I craved for it during pregnancy. I didn't get it. But when I went to put her court, I was hammering the thing. She can remember that. I was hammering. You see, all those kind of food, the fruit like um, Udara. So I think it is called Sherry, if I'm not mistaken. All the mangoes. All the pears, oh my god, pears, pears and corn. I miss a lot of those things, guys. I miss it. In fact, as I'm here, I've listed down. In fact, I said I was I will eat everything when I go to Nigeria. I am going to eat all the food that I miss. I pray I don't pour you. I pray I don't get so much upset. Why do you not this this? But to be honest with you guys, I miss food. Food. I like food though. I like food. Mm -hmm. People that know me know that I'm an eater. I like food. I am not denying it. And I don't know if any of you out there who do not like food, apart from children who are too selective, but they see is there is still something that they prefer that is edible. Okay, so I eat food. I like food. I love eating. Oh my god. So let's leave this topic because if I start mentioning the things that I miss. Oh my god, I miss what I live. I miss Ugo. I miss all those Afan, the original one, not the one we do here with, with um, spinach, the real ones that we you know we miss here, yes, those fresh, fresh, whatever. Oh my god, I miss them a lot. I want to come to Nigeria. Oh god, help me. I go ham out for food. <laughs> god have mercy. So please, guys, let's hit to the next point, okay? Another thing again, the most interesting part of it is that I miss a saloon. My old saloon. Oh my god. It's not like saloon is not here, but it can nothing like home. Home is home, alright? You can never compare home to outside of your home, okay? And we know we have home away from home. The saloon the half year but that one in nigeria where you cross your leg where you will relax i can even go with this hair to the saloon and i will just sit down there and someone will just come and lose my hair wash my hair dress my hair plate my hair make everything for me i will see you be enjoying i'll be drinking i'll be eating oh my god i miss those things like seriously i miss them it's not like you can't get them here but you carrying this hair like this to saloon here for them to lose it because they don't even understand your hair, okay? Yeah. Like, if you want to go to an Italian salon, what you need to do, you have to call on phone, book an appointment, they will give you dates, they will give you time, and at the end of the day, it is not what you want that you get, because you are going to choose what they can offer you, alright? And miss relaxing, making it, someone making my hair, I relax, I don't have to stress myself of giving a touch of no those kinds of things I miss it a lot and all that. So this is what I'm about to say now. I did not have any experience of living with a maid, okay, when I was in Nigeria, but I still miss it because if I was to live in Nigeria, I'm sure going to look for help, alright? Because life, it can't kill yourself. It cannot kill yourself by yourself, alright? You have to really help yourself by looking for help, alright? So I miss those things. Like you can get help in Nigeria that you can that you pay, or even those that you don't even pay, but they will live with you and you will train them in the school. So I miss those things. Okay. So if you people, you guys in Nigeria or any part where you are, and you have help, thank God for it. It is a privilege for you. We don't have such opportunity here. Okay. This is where I'm going to be rounding it up here. But I'm going to give us another bonus point, which is the most missed part okay <laughs> and what is that part i miss my siblings oh my god i miss my family a lot i miss them i miss my sisters i miss my brothers like sometimes my sister will just come and she would like oh i miss you and i'm for me not to make her feel emotional i would just say don't worry now, very soon we'll see. But inside of me, I am dying. I am dying in silence. I am dying. I miss them a lot. So my sisters, my brothers, I miss you guys a lot. Even though I know we talk on phone, we see on video calls, but pictures can never solve it. Just feel like seeing you guys, giving you guys a hug, you know, you know, spending time with you guys. All those that is 
I have come to realize, you know, the the moment that we have spent together, um, you know, it's very good to cherish this moment because you don't know tomorrow. Distance can tear people apart. Distance can, can keep you far from your home. So I miss you guys a lot. I miss you guys a lot. I hope to see you guys very soon, very, very soon, because willing. I'm going to see you guys, okay? So guys, I'm so happy that you did if you watched this point. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. But remember that life is a privilege, and for me to live is Christ. I will never take it for granted. I will see you in my next video. Have yourself a blessed day, blessed night, and blessed evening, and blessed morning. Bye, and I'll...